Hello, well I'm pressing on with making components for the Sussex chair and I'm now making the rear legs and I've rived out a couple of quite nice sections of wood here. I've rived them actually slightly on the bigger side but what I'm going to do is draw a knife them down and get them roughly to shape and then I'll put them through my rotary planes to get a more graduated sort of shape. After that, and I'll probably do this as a separate film because it'll be a bit more involved, I've got to bend the bender rear legs and I'll probably be using a hot water bath for that, although I may steam them, see how it goes. I've also got to do nice little curly tops, which for pole labour will be a bit of a challenge, but life's about having good challenges. So I'll press on and get these, as I say, draw a knife round and we'll get to take it from there. Well, one of the problems of doing your rear legs on a chair is that they're actually physically quite long. And so when you draw a knife thing at an end, it's easy. You just draw a knife all around. But if you're trying to get into the middle of a leg, you're suddenly being stabbed <laughs> by the leg. So what I do, I just put it to one side and then clamp my shave horse with my feet and just draw a knife away. I find that works fine. And if you get tired of doing it one way, you can just do it the other way which actually is quite economical from draw knife blade usage because I find this keeps sharp grip because it's only green wood and it's soft. I mean, you know, you can take massive chunks of like this and it doesn't really blunt them. I don't sharpen my draw knives very much actually. What I'll do if this gets really bad, I'll pop it on the water wheel and give it a bit more of an edge. But otherwise, I mean, and then I'll just rub it with an oil stone. But I find generally just a rub with an oil stone now and again, fine one, and you can get the edge up. I do keep my edge tools with covers and I find that really helps. So it's not very um, green woodworky in some ways, but I use blue water pipe. Well, I suppose it's green from the point of view I'm recycling, but it's not very traditional. But I find a bit of water pipe makes a very nice blade cover. I've now drawn knifed off one of the rear posts and got it to about the right diameter, so I'll start doing a little bit of turning with the rounding planes now. So I'm just going to manually round off this piece here, and that will fit the chuck. I am once again getting quite a bit of shaving off of all of this, but I've just been cleaning out my chickens and they do quite like it as bedding, so they're getting the luxury of nice, nice bedding. So just chucking up, this is sitting fairly nicely in the chuck, so it shouldn't wave around too much. inch and three quarter at the moment. The rear legs of the Sussex chair are actually generally a bit more sort of chunky overall. So I'm going to smooth this. I'll do it this way for initial smoothing. smoothly but that's roughed out one one of the rear legs. The actual rear legs themselves are 33 and a half inches so I've got quite a little bit of margin here to play around with which is what I like. I've got about six inches on the end. I'll probably do a bit more tapering just down this end and it has a bit of tapering up the headstock end 
So I'll probably actually rotate this, do some tapering on each end. I've roughed out this leg now, so that's all been sort of prepared, at least roughly. You can see it's actually got a very good smooth finish. So a little bit of rippling on it, but really a little bit of scraping and that's pretty well good as it is. Next to it, just to illustrate, I've put the other leg that I'm now going to draw a knife and smooth up, round up in a similar fashion. Then I'll have a pair, <laughs> which is what I need. Well, lots more shavings, but what I needed, <laughs> two legs. So that's the rough turning now done for the rear legs. Turning the tops of the chair legs is a bit of a challenge for a pole laver, but I've specially adapted my pole lathe with this cradle and it has worked. It's not brilliant because they're slightly rough, but I can smooth them up quite easily. So that's the tops done as well. In the next video, I'll cover some steam bending, uh, well, actually water bath bending, and you'll see me bending all the components. Hope you've enjoyed this one.